Hello everyone, welcome to another view gene where Eugene is viewing things. In this particular video it's gonna be of course episode number four of public drum shaming by Eugene R. R stands for roasting. I wanted to thank everybody who has submitted their videos so far. If you still want to do it, please make sure that you watch the rules video first before submitting it. Today, we're going to be taking a look at these 10 brave participants. If you prefer to time travel, you can also use these timestamps in order to jump to the desired video. But before we start, I'm going to review my previous review first. So the good stuff. I am getting better and better at handling these videos and also handling my own equipment and I'm happy how things are working so far. The bad stuff. I'm still not very happy with the way I gave you my feedback. Unfortunately, I'm not really able to give you good advice in just a few words. So a lot of the stuff that I say is very, very redundant and I talk a lot. So for the sake of experiment, what I want to do for this episode is I want to speed up just certain parts of my speech, hopefully saving your precious time. So please let me know if you're going to be able to follow me when I'm going to be talking faster. If you think this is something you you can keep up with this is how we're gonna roll from now on at least for the near future i got myself a small assistant here Feel the forest flow. Yes. this is a uh, little yoda not baby but little whatever another important thing that i wanted to mention is this is no secret that making these review videos takes a lot of time and patience with no exaggeration it takes about 20 hours to make one video like this. That includes filming, reacting, editing, posting, and all that stuff. If I do my best, I can maybe make one video per week, which means that I'm working 20 hours per week, part-time, just doing these reviews. No need to say that this is absolutely not sustainable in the long run. So if I can find the patience and the balls and the guts to keep making these, maybe I can ask you to find the generosity in your big kind hearts to support me and you can of course do it via patreon if you help me out hopefully i'll be able to keep making these videos more content more frequently so let's start with our first submission from jasper this is a rehearsal video national autopsy system for down yes take notes i do recommend you to rehearse with mics if you can it's a great thing to do Oh, chaotic blast. Ah, tense arm movement. Oof. Heart attack, Tom rolls. Brutal and chaotic. Very aggressive. Pretty decent wrist movement on the cymbal. The left hand on the snare, rather tight and tense. Ah, relax, relax, relax. Double strokes on the kicks, not sure. Maybe yes, maybe no. Yeah, nice powerful hits. Yeah, the band cannot keep up with the drummer. Story of my life. His overall drumming and like the style kinda reminds me a little bit of Derek Roddy. Yeah, but he plays with a lot of fury and passion. Ah, uh, farting bass. Aha, uh -huh. the way he's holding the stick in the right hand, like a, like an axe, he's about to chop some wood. So many tempo changes, technical stuff. Aha, uh -huh. this is interesting. Very unusual beat and such music, I would say. That was, that was cool. Yes. Oh, that hand. A bit of a Parkinson's blast here. So once again, this is gonna be the speech part, which I'll try to speed up a little bit to save your precious time. So the good stuff. I really, really enjoyed the energy. You played with a lot of anger, a lot of passion. You were really enjoying the music. A lot of very technical and complicated patterns, a lot of tempo changes. So like this was some very, very impressive stuff in my opinion. Also in, I'd say rather innovative in certain parts. So that was pretty cool. You had a nice swing. You know how to swing. Or playing with decent volume. I really, really enjoyed that you mic'd up the, basically the whole kit. And also I think the, the rest of the band was also recorded with the uh, mics. So this is actually a great way to take a look at your technique, at your uh, skills as a composer, your performance overall as a band to record your rehearsals with whatever 
equipment you have. So please, ladies and gentlemen, take notes. This is great because this is very raw. You can spot every flaw. You can spot all the mistakes. You know what to work on. The bad stuff. Regarding your technique, what I mentioned uh, multiple times during the video, of course, the left hand. So you need to relax because in my opinion, you are trying to play certain patterns at certain tempos that you're really ready to do at the moment. Okay, so make sure that you slow down and you work on the wrist flexibility more. You are using a lot of this kind of a wooden log arm. The right hand is doing a little bit better with the right symbol. The left hand on the snare is like, um, you're not going to be able to push tempos and go for longer endurance blasts with this kind of approach. Okay, so make sure that I'd rather maybe suggest you to work a little bit either on pads. If you hate pad practice, like some people do, uh, you can, of course, practice on an acoustic kit, uh, but just make sure that you slow down and you work a lot on this. So you need to try to learn to separate the smaller muscle groups in order to use more wrist, use more fingers, use more ankles with uh, fast tempos for kicks, for example. Also, make sure that you try to clean up the blast beats. This is something that I've talked about in previous batches. So slow down and pay more attention to precision. Since you have an opportunity to record yourself with mics, it's absolutely awesome that you can just take a look at it and say like, okay, this was messy. This is potato. This is clean. And then you can work and clean up on those things. Play to a click. This is just a recommendation, even if your band doesn't perform to a click, but you can still practice from time to time to a metronome in order to uh, be a little bit better timing and staying on the grid. This was very nice. Thank you very much. Let's continue with our second entry. And this one is from Hanna Lina. Finally, another lady. We haven't had one uh, in a while. As far as I remember, Hanna is from Finland. This is Cradle of Filth, Rise of the Pentagram. The true pentagram. Oh, there it is. Oh, that stare right into your soul. Very cute keyboards. The guitar player is also staring into my soul. Very intimidating. Oh, this is dark. Very, very dark angle. In, not in a good way, dark. There's good dark and there's bad dark. Okay, foot cam. Nice. Socks. I hope you're not getting cold. Oh, nice. So you were playing the keyboard. This is cool. I like the candles on the keyboard. <laughs> really cool looking uh, makeup, actually. Uh, like, I can imagine this being a stage presence. This is actually pretty tough what she's doing because she's banging her head on the downbeat and the snare is on the upbeat. It's very polyrhythmic headbanging. Yeah, the reason I mentioned this headbanging because you would usually bang together with the snare. It's easier to coordinate your body like this as for lim limb independence, in my opinion. See, a mixture of ankles, maybe also like a full leg a little bit. Great beater angle. Nice swing on the snare. You know how to swing. <laughs> this polyrhythmic headbanging, it, it throws me off. It's so unintuitive for me. Cool. Great foot technique. Very tight. Oh, yes. These, these patterns are not easy to pull off. Sometimes it's easier to just keep the constant flow rather than doing these kind of a wannabe Fear Factory Iron Maiden gallops. Oh, yeah, this part. Multi-talented. That's a cool artwork. Thank you very much. So, the good stuff. Uh, you have great foot technique, in my opinion. You are pulling off these tempos with uh, most likely a hybrid of upper leg and ankle. I saw a lot of ankle. I didn't really see your upper leg, so I cannot really tell. You have a nice swing once again on the snare. You're playing with decent uh, volume and power. Maybe you could put a little bit more into that, but still, this is pretty nice. I did enjoy the uh, multi-instrument performance. Uh, that was also something I haven't seen yet in these uh, batches. The parts were executed very, very precisely. I do assume that you played to a metronome or to a song and a metronome. You were rather tight. I didn't really spot a lot of uh, terrible mistakes. All of that was very, very tightly that stuff. In, in terms of technique, of course, you could work a little bit more with your body and your face, okay? So putting a little bit more soul and aggression into the music, you are actually doing it, so you're on the right path, but you could always go a bit more. I like the headbanging, but sometimes it looked a little bit kind of mm, lazy and without any purpose, you know? It's just like just like doing this, and sometimes you need to put a bit more of the soul into the headbanging to kind of make the audience see that you're actually doing it because you enjoy it, not because it's your obligation and you're supposed to do it. You're on the right track, so just keep working on that. In terms of production, yeah, better lights, better cameras, better editing, especially some of the transitions. One of the camera angles, I believe, it was like somewhere from front and from the left side was like rather dark and low quality but all these things are not such a big deal it was pretty cool keep challenging yourself with more technical songs and put more soul into it and you're gonna be fine all right entry number three and this is from Yimi Myhenen maybe somebody from Finland again not sure this is the Black Dahlia murder Moonlight Equilibrium Nice, auxiliary hi-hat, open-handed playing. I approve. 
good wrist movement on the right symbol. Very nice precise snare in unison with the guitar. Cha 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 cha. Very good. Great ankle technique. Nice relaxed snare, skank up beat. Bit of a tilted camera here from this side. No big deal. Great rolls. Cool. What kind of drum kit is that? Is that like a Pearl Vision? Something like what I have? Or it's a Tama? Not sure. Maybe it's a Tama? Please let me know if you're watching this. I'm curious. These kicks are super precise. The Skanka beat with fast double bass is actually not a very easy thing to do. Great snare sound. Really like it. Matches the guitar so well. Very nice. Molar on the right hand on the hi-hat in unison with the skank down beat on the snare. Great. Great. Whoa! Yeah. I feel you, bro. Hit the subscribe and like button. Please make sure you do. He deserves it. Thank you very much for this submission. So, the good stuff. Absolutely awesome technique. Super relaxed at these tempos. I don't know what BPM was that. Something maybe 220, 230-ish in uh, my opinion. I think a lot of Black Dahlia stuff is at uh, that BPM range. You are very chill and relaxed, which is super important at these tempos. So, you are holding back a lot in order to save uh, on stamina and be able to push those fast skank beats and last beats for long periods of time. This is awesome. Great molar technique on the right hand. Uh, nice snare swing. is decent volume. Great overall sounding kit. I really, really dig the mix. Sounded like raw, kind of mixed raw, but also not super plastic, but also well produced. Very good, in my opinion. Great foot technique. Amazing ankle motion. Very, very precise triggered kicks. You could hear every hit being super, super perfect. In case you did edit your drum parts, this was still very, very awesome to watch because you could clearly see that you can pull off all these parts. So that was very, very cool. You know, if you would perform like this live, that would be absolutely awesome. So I think this was absolutely great. Really cool traditional blast. Really nice, precise uh, four hit Tom rolls. And also there was, I think, a four over two or something like this. That was all of that was very, very tight. Well done. Bad stuff in terms of technique. I could just use a little bit more anger, you know, and a little bit of more swing. Try to feel the music more. I'm sure, you work a lot on learning the parts. Obviously, you're focusing on the parts if they're, everything is like very, very technical. So, of course, you need to make sure that you play all these parts very, very precisely, which is great. Make sure that you practice all the parts to such a level where you don't have to think about them too much so you can actually think more about the performance and the way you express yourself behind the kit. This is very important. The more you practice these patterns and these songs, the more confident you're going to be, the more you're going to be able to focus on the fire. Entry number four from Agelos Mavrokephalos Blackhead. This is aborted. Okay. Fallacious crescendo. Lefty. Great finger technique on the blast. Blech. I wish the song was a little bit quieter so I could hear more of the drums. I love the flip flops here <laughs> on the floor. Okay, weird looking uh, ankle motion, kind of swivel. Yeah, so this is kind of a probably triplet, eighth notes triplet kicks instead of sixteenth notes that are in the original one. This ankle motion looks pretty weird, but very interesting. Okay, skank downbeat with eighth note kicks. This is always an interesting choice. Guys, aborted is no easy task. Yeah. <laughs> Blackout. Is this really the end? I think it is. Please don't leave that black screen like this in the end of the video, rather than just cut the song in the end, because this kinda serves no purpose. Alright, thank you very much for the submission. Once again, Aborted is a very challenging band to cover, so well done. Anybody who's attempting Aborted deserves respect for sure. Good stuff. I can see that you are able to pull off most of the stuff with the tempo, you understand the blast beats and all the double bass that's supposed to be there, and you're doing pretty good. You're not really getting behind the BPM, and you're able to stay on the grid. That was pretty cool. Hitting with decent power, a nice finger technique on the blasts, rather interesting 
foot technique with your floating swivel. That's tough. Re regarding your technique, I'd rather slow down just a little bit to clean up certain things, okay? So some of the blasts didn't really convince me, uh, were not as tight as they could be. The triplet kicks are fine as a replacement for the, for the 16th kicks if you cannot pull them off at these tempos, so I don't see a problem in that, to be honest. It'd be nice to hear a bit more of your drumming, less of the original song, because it was a little bit hard to determine exactly what you were playing, a lot of this chaos. Another thing is also try to maybe pay a bit more attention to the drum parts from the original song and try to get them a bit closer, because I saw a lot of these misunderstandings, so to say. We didn't play some of the fills and patterns in, from the original song. Maybe I'm wrong, but this is at least what I heard from the video that we watched right now. Honestly, respect, because in order to push yourself and become better, you have to challenge yourself with stuff like aborted. So this was, of course, great. Just make sure that you don't sacrifice precision for speed, okay? This is very, very important. If you take a look at Ken, that guy is absolutely crazy. Very, very precise and very, very fast. Precision comes first. Speed can come later. Okay, entry is from Mr. Deepold. Daniel Deepold. Hate eternal, all hope destroyed. Slow two foot traditional blast. Check out those toms. The difference in height between the snare and the toms. You have to jump so much to reach them. Kevin Paradis style. Oh, nice wrist technique on the right hand. Very good. I wish we could see a little bit more of the hands because this is not the best angle in my opinion. We can clearly see your white shirt, but I would rather see your blasts. The kicks are so wide. Oh, this, this is a oh, one foot blast. Wow, this is very impressive. Yeah, Hate Eternal is another bitch of a band to cover, so very impressive. Very nice. Are these double strokes? Not really sure. Maybe they are. I'm really missing any kind of camera angle for the left hand. Their left hand is completely obscured. Oh, that, that splash. Kitchen splash. Ooh, this is awesome. Ah, traditional blast. Not very traditional, not very precise, but this is fast as hell. Four over twos. Oh, that's it. It's like, don't leave me hanging. But you did. Hey, thank you very much for the submission. Good stuff. I put wrist technique on the symbol on the right hand. Heard some impressive one foot blasts. I wish I could hear more with the triggers. Very complicated parts. You did very good on the rolls. Four over twos and just regular four, four sixteenth notes on snare and toms. Impressive leaps from the snare to the toms. It's rather challenging to do. This kind of music you can really afford to hit very, very hard. So did very well in holding back at fast tempos, which is important. Bad stuff. So once again, you could clean up the blast maybe a little bit. You can work a bit more on actually getting the parts right and mostly on the floor tom patterns and rolls. Sometimes you could hear a little bit of inconsistency with the song itself. You're not going to be miking the whole kit, at least maybe just use kick triggers, consider them. For this kind of music, it's like essential. In terms of production, of course, you could use a different angle, a different camera, and better overall sound in production. Other thing you could actually consider to uh, decrease the distance between the snare and the toms, if you don't want to put one lower and the other one higher, at least angle them a bit better, because you are going to be wasting a lot of energy jumping so much from the snare to toms, and this basically impacts your technique and performance overall. This is an important aspect to consider. So the pedals were a bit weird for me that you were keeping them so wide, maybe you can just put them a bit closer to each other, most likely you're gonna even feel a little bit better to keep everything closer and tighter together, okay? Working at very fast and extreme BPM, so you don't have the luxury to make big leaps, to jump and to move around too much with your body. Every extra movement, every extra inch your arms and feet do, gonna cost you energy. That means you're gonna sacrifice more speed and stamina. Overall, very nice, thank you. Okay, submission number six from whew, Wilhelmur Magnus. Swedish Scandinavian, my guess. Oh no, sorry, the description says Icelandic. Iceland is still Scandinavia, right? I think so. Okay, so this is Dark Note, Black Morning 2021, on a 20-year-old electric drum kit via Easy Drummer 2. TikTok format. Cool. GLA. Cool, I really dig the samples on this kit despite it being uh, 20 years old. Ah, uh, Roland TD6, I have the same one. Wow, great 
beater angle. Oh! Wow, very aggressive. This is like Max Kolesnik crazy on beater angle. Crazy. This might lead to the spring snapping. Just saying. So be careful with that. I hope it doesn't happen to you in the worst possible moment. Ah, a bit potato-ish, but no big deal. Nice. Nice triplet kicks. This is not that easy to pull off. Wow. Great fill. Yeah. A bit too much brute force. Could use a bit more ankles. Such a great sounding e-kit. I really like the sound. Overall, like, it sounds very, very live. Cool. Great. Yeah. Very nice. Raw. But precise at the same time. Ah, yes. Stick spin. Once again, we go back to a bit of uh, maybe soul fly thing. Yes. Haha. <laughs> yeah, you wish you could put those kick patterns there, huh? No, 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 no. Not yet. Okay. Ideas we didn't implement. Great. I really dig it. Cool song. Oh, the camera's like ooh, running out of energy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. F yeah. Thank you very much. This was a great submission. Good stuff. Nice energy, nice anger, nice brute strength and raw power. You're hitting that kit like a beast. Very cool drum fills and very nice hand technique overall. Interesting patterns. Don't have anything to complain about regarding hands. Really good sounding actor kit in my opinion, despite being 20 year old. Had a great time watching it. That stuff. You could relax a little bit more, only because you want to hit hard. It doesn't mean that you cannot stay relaxed. Okay, so you can swing arm more, stay relaxed. We're using more whipping motion, more wrists, rather than just getting tense and brute forcing everything. This especially applies to your foot technique when you're trying to go for those fast kick patterns. You'd rather consider switching more to ankles. I would suggest you to maybe decrease the beater angle a little bit on your pedals, not only to prevent the springs from breaking, but also it's going to help you to utilize ankles a little bit better because that was pretty extreme. You're trying to brute force all the fast kicks with your upper legs, which is not going to let you progress any further beyond this point pretty much because you're wasting too much precious energy to stuff with the wrong muscle group. So more ankles for the foot, more swing wrist for the hands, and you're going to be good. It was rather enjoyable. I really liked the raw edit. It was an electric kit, but you could hear some flams and sloppiness here and there, and it was still very, very precise, especially the very technical and strange kick patterns. That was very nice. Well done. Well done. Submission number seven from Nicolas Keza. Unholy cheese. Looks like a fancy studio with a lot of microphones. A lefty. Yes, nice. Just feeling it. Okay, a lot of transitions. Nice, relaxed, chill limb movement. Very good. You know how to swing. Reminds me a little bit of James Stewart. Maybe because of the beard and the hair. Cool pattern. So many things going on at the same time. I'm having a hard time keeping up. Cool sounding toms. Ah, there was this stick thing. Cool. Great. A lot of power on those symbols. The guy's like, ooh. This was rather nice. Good stuff. I really liked how much power you had despite being so relaxed. Okay, so this is actually something that I would prefer people to take notes of. Uh, some of the previous uh, submissions that we had even in this batch. So attention to how Nicholas is actually playing his arms. It's like very, very kind of like jelly rubber movements, which is very cool. And yet at the same time, he's hitting the cymbals and the toms with a lot of power. So this is actually great because he's able to extract good sound from his drum kit, staying relaxed and not pushing through with brute force. This is what metal drummers should actually aim for. This was actually very nice. A lot of complicated patterns. I had a hard time following them. So many changes and different things happening in a rather short video. It was very, very impressive memorizing all of that stuff. Nice overall sounding kit. I hope it sounds absolutely massive in the studio. I'm looking forward to the final production. That stuff. I don't really have much to say here because uh, it was not that easy to spot or hear any kind of major issues or mistakes. I wish we could have the final mix, of course. In terms of technique, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep challenging yourself. 
speed, endurance, fast blasts, fast kicks. You hit with a lot of power. That was very nice. As long as you're here, everything is being picked up by the mics. You know what you need to work on. You can spot all your mistakes. This was filmed most likely with a phone from the studio. So it'd be nice to see a good proper production with multiple cameras from the studio. You're performing the song with good sound, video quality. It'd be something interesting to watch because of the creativity of these patterns that you shown us. Thank you very much. Let's continue. All right, submission number eight by Perry Dimension. This is Gojira, Fortitude, full album drum medley. This is 10 minutes. No mics, raw acoustic kit. Oh, dirty shoes. <laughs> yeah, you can see he's really into it. Swinging his head. He knows how to swing. You know how to swing. Oh, those shoes. Please, no more of that. <laughs> yes, yes. You see how much passion. Yes, this is awesome. I love seeing this kind of stuff. Cool. He, he's in character. It reminds me a little bit of Robert Pattinson. Nice, nice. Very nice dynamics on that snare roll. Very cool. But the shoes, man. <laughs> the shoes kind of fit the overall video style, so... Yes. Yes, he's like, are you listening? Wow, nice wrist movement on the snare there. Ah, oh, that was cool, the stick trick. So much power on the snare during the blast. Amazing. Very nice. Oh, a lot of wrist movement. The range of the stick. The stick height. Yes! Fuck yeah. Cut, 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 cut. This is cool. Oh, yes. Destroy that kid. Yes, awesome. Okay, this was decent. Good thing about doing these kind of medleys is that if you play li literally the whole album and there are like a lot of different things and you can basically like do a lot of different patterns, a lot of different beats, you can use that as an exercise, you know, to let's say work on several different things at the same time just by playing the whole album. Nice fast ankle burst with the right foot, very cool. I can really feel him feeling the song. Oh, yes, amazing. This was great. Whoa. Yeah. This is like Dillinger Escape Plan stuff. This was absolutely awesome. I wish we could hear a bit more of your like drum only or whatever performance rather than playing the song. The good stuff. Absolutely awesome technique and precision. The energy is amazing. You play with a lot of passion and fire and uh, people should take notes and use you as an example. This was very, very good. I loved absolutely everything about the fire, the soul. You were in character. You were enjoying it a lot. And this made me enjoy watching you as well. This is important. Well done. Well done. Very nice technique, a lot of power on the snare blast. Great fills, great kick sound actually for acoustic stuff. Like I don't know what kind of mics, phone, camera, whatever you were using. It all sounded very raw, but good at the same time. You can tell that you're putting a lot of power into your hits. Great ankle technique for the foot. That was very, very nice. I was mostly impressed with your left hand on the ghost notes and doing all these kind of like uh, fill-ins with the left hand and the towards the end. All this stuff was awesome. This is like technical shit. Great limp independence. These Gojira patterns are rather challenging. You did very well in my opinion. Bad stuff. In terms of your technique, honestly, I really have nothing to say because I think it was awesome. Keep challenging yourself, keep working in this direction. You're on the right path. In terms of production, yeah, of course. Better sound. I mean, at least mics for camera, better lights, and please cleaner shoes. Another tip that I could maybe recommend you is like 10 minutes of a Gojira medley is nice for all the nerds and diehard fans. Of course, this was very cool because you kind of able to show off a lot of the skills that you possess, which is awesome. In terms of people's attention span on the internet these days, maybe you would prefer to rather keep everything shorter so that you don't bore the viewer, even though performance was very interesting and technical. People are, you know, just swiping these days. Let's say you can just take the best of what you can do, a 30 second or one minute or two, three minutes video and just show that and people are going to be like, whoa, you know, to make a very same impression with shorter videos because you have stuff to show in my opinion. Great technique, great energy. You're a great performer. Thank you very much. I did enjoy watching this a lot. Entry number nine from Memo Rios Medina. Fresh meat. This is transatlantic black as the sky drum cam. Hashtag Mike Portnoy. Okay, uh, is the transatlantic logo things gonna stay there till the end? 
these wacky melodies. I'm getting some Sonic the Hedgehog vibes here. I can see mics everywhere, but I don't really kind of hear them. It does sound like a camera sound. Okay, lyrics. Do we really need that in this video? I'm not sure. I wish I could see more of the drumming. There's like an overhead angle on the right. Like, and stuff is like kinda half transparent. Oh, I don't know. This looks like a weird watermark <laughs> in the middle of the video. Yeah, cool technical patterns. A nice swing. Ah, uh, things are falling apart a little bit here with the ride. Ah, uh, potato kicks. Uh, okay Okay, this stuff is technical a lot of things going on and tough to pull off In unison weird. He has a bigger rack Tom on the left side and he's a right-handed drummer So it goes like from bigger Tom to smaller Tom an unusual choice, but not an unwelcome one This is a very interesting pattern very nice cool Oh cool Please, somebody remove that transatlantic watermark from the video. Ian Gillen, the purple vibes. Oh, very, very nice footwork on the hi-hat. With the left foot on the pedal. Like heel-toe, heel-toe. This is actually very nice. I do that sometimes. This is your last chance to impress Eugene. Oh, my head is spinning. Tornado transitions. Good. Ding. Yes. And hell yeah. Okay, this was nice. The good stuff. Ten technique. You hit with decent power. A lot of coordination-related uh, patterns, exercises. A lot of things going on at the same time for all four different limbs. This was very admirable. So respect for that. It's rather challenging, in my opinion. Orchestrations are sometimes crazy. It's not that easy to play this kind of stuff. Really dig your footwork on the hi hat pedal when you were doing the heel toe, even if that was just a little bit. It's cool. That stuff. Try to slow down maybe a little bit and listen more carefully to what you're playing and try to match the drumming and the parts of the original song. I'm not saying that you got the parts wrong, but in terms of synchronizing your hits, this is not easy to do, of course. But there are a lot of hits and every time you're hitting not in sync it's gonna sound like a flam it's gonna make you sound sloppy so even if overall your performance was actually good the song in the background might have destroyed that a little bit so to say many things going on at the same time maybe try to go for something simple in order to focus a bit more on precision always nice to be a bit tighter and more precise rather than video production please don't use that space filter on top with the transatlantic logo Those video transitions all of that stuff was just a bit not my cup of tea you know but if this is your vision so be it i'm just saying that you know the overall impression from watching that kind of video for me got a bit worse only thanks to this you know if that would be just like a plain uh, video with no effects, no nothing, it would have been much better. I don't know if you have mixed the sound or if you have even used any of the sound from the mics that I saw on your drum kit, but this sounded very, very raw, almost like camera sound. It will be cool to hear the actual drum kit recorded with mics since you're already using them, if you had the opportunity to actually do that. Uh, nice, keep challenging yourself, but make sure that you also clean up stuff that needs to be cleaned up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the final submission for today, this is from Marcus Mitte. This is disgusting perversion. Nice. Uh, two over two, but starting with kicks. It triggers on the bass drum. Slow and heavy. Ah, uh, getting desynchronized with the guitars and kicks. The kick trigger is very merciless because it gives away all the mistakes so you have to be always careful performing with the trigger tuka, 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 tuka. traditional blast with tuka tuka with obscene extreme nice wrist movement both on the hi-hat and on the snare during the blast a lot of power big stick height Ooh, what was that Hard time keeping up with the kicks. Well, no, not really. Actually, rather tight, but all all of it sounds rather shaky. Traditional into unison blast, not good. But nice finger and wrist movement on the left hand on the snare. 
combination of those. Nice one-handed symbol chokes. Yeah. Weird hybrid of fingers and wrist, always alternating on the right hand. Ah, uh, timing issues. Cool, the ending was great. Awesome! All right, so the good stuff. Great energy, you know, great overall uh, positive vibes. Uh, nice stick height, powerful strokes. Very nice that you recorded yourself uh, during the live gig with uh, the trigger and also maybe some of the mics. You can have a clear picture of how you actually sounded, what you need to work on. The bad stuff. The overall performance was rather kind of shaky, lacking confidence, I would say. You know, things were like falling apart. You were trying to hold on very, very tightly to not let the things fall apart. Timing issues was the biggest problem that I've noticed. You'd rather work a little bit on spacing notes properly in the traditional blast, also the kicks, also the rolls, basically everything. So make sure that you slow down and you learn how to synchronize your limbs together. So let's say the right hand, the leading hand with the right kick. Make sure that everything falls into the grid. Record yourself. If you have an electric kit or even if an acoustic kit, you're recording yourself and play to a click. Make sure that you create a grid, a click track, and you always watch the notes fall into the grid and work on trying to get as precise as possible, okay? It's very important that you are able to hear yourself and understand where you're sloppy and where you're tight. Stuff that you need to work on. So I would say the overall timing, the biggest issue. Overall, nice hand technique. So I don't think at the moment that's a priority for you to work on. Decision, yes. All right, and that's it, boys and girls. I've arrived to the grand finale. Thank you so much to everybody who has submitted their videos and for today's badge i had a great time watching and reviewing them i hope you did enjoy it too You're able to learn something both from me and from each other once again anybody else who hasn't submitted their video and still wants to do it make sure that you watch the rules video first again if you enjoy the content that i make me to continue doing so feel free to support me on my patreon this way we can be even more productive next time i'm going to be doing this we're going to be reviewing batch number five with these 10 entries i'm looking forward to it hopefully you as well until next time take care and cheers bye bye Impressed by this precision? Me too. This is all achievable thanks to the Foot Blaster triggers. Make sure that you head to footblaster.com and use the code Eugene in order to get a discount for your next Foot Blaster trigger purchase. Cool. What kind of drum kit is that? Is that like a Pearl Vision something like what I have or it's a...